Seth is Muslim. Someone's actually trying to convert me into being a Muslim. Um, which was it, it was an interesting conversation, but I don't want to get into that too much. But yeah, one of my friends was trying really hard. Uh, is it working? So I'm pretty open minded. You know, I like to keep a good idea. There's some there's some ideas um, with like the Quran that makes a lot more sense uh, than other religions for me. So I'm not saying I'm becoming Muslim or not. But here's a good example of, of uh, something that Muslims I, I appreciate is the whole. OK, so if you had like a God, right, you had like a sandbox God who was going was say he was so invested in the world that he wanted to give people books. Okay, he wanted to give people books like some fucking game manual shit. Like he's like handing them out like game manuals. You know, and he's like, hey, this is what you should do to, you know, have the best experience in your fucking video game. So it, it does it, I will agree with the Muslim view here that it does make sense that he would give different books to different people. You know what I mean? Because no, there's no there's never going to be like one book that will just universally apply or be, you know, uh, readable or accessible to everyone on Earth. So it, it kind of makes sense to me that there might be slightly different variations depending on oh who it's God. being oh. given to, which I kind of agreed with. But uh, otherwise, I haven't really, like said, I'm converting or, you know, whatever. But that's something I did agree with. So, um yeah, the the multiple wives thing almost almost got me. And where you can cuck your friend's wife, whew, that shit was heat. That shit might have been heat. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm I'm joking, joking, joking. But that is something I agreed with. Uh Mormon life. Look yep. Yeah, I forgot what it was, but there was something about like Muhammad cucking someone's wife i forgot the story i don't i don't remember the full story so i can't i can't say it but there was some weird shit with that um uh, scale dora the explorer i don't know she probably has some crazy gag powers eh i think the map can just find anything it's like a clairvoyant map why do you even know that? Dude, because I, I look up, like, a lot of weird shit on religion all the time. It's kind of interesting. One of the one of the things I like in, uh, looking into most is, like, what are the arguments that uh, religious figures are real? And what, like, what did they do? Like, here's an example of one about if Jesus was real, right? That I thought was really interesting was, um, there was a, so there was, like, so the Romans, they kept, like, um, they kept, like, documents of people that they crucified or fucked up or whatever, or, you know, did whatever, right? So, the thing they said about Jesus was interesting. Because so what they said about Jesus, I forgot exactly what they said, but they said, Jesus is a poor carpenter man who went to Egypt for work and then came back from Egypt with superpowers and then started telling people he was God. I think all the superpower shit is him doing magic tricks. And then that was in their document. It was like the most, it's kind of interesting. Like he went to Egypt and got power. Like, did he like stumble into the fucking pyramid and then like see Anubis and Anubis is like, my child touched the gem. And then <laughs> Jesus just got magic powers or like, or what? Because something interesting about Egypt is they started saying the whole one god thing too, which was something that uh, Jesus really like touted. So, <laughs> yeah, he got hit by some fucking booby trap or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this Roman motherfucker thought happened in Egypt, bro. But <laughs> Jesus ascended when he got there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck, dude. <laughs> he got yeah. He got his JoJo stand in Egypt. <laughs> Stardust Crusaders mode. <laughs> um, growing up with black mom would have died trying to learn this shit. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, bro. Yeah, Jesus saw the burning bush, the burning DNT bush, and he was enlightened, dude. He saw the fourth dimensional realm. <laughs> Where did you read that? 
dude, it, it was honestly just in one of like the eight trillion. Like, okay, I just looked up eight trillion different religious videos when I'm bored. I watch like three before bed sometimes, just being bored. And then I'll just read the comment wars, and then like one of them was one of the comments was that, and like they gave a source. So I don't remember where it was, but they were funny. Yeah, the Egypt Ark. Uh, yeah, his trip to White Castle. By the way, I love that movie, by the way. That's really good. I need to watch those movies again. Harold and Kumar. I remember that shit, dude. I used to watch those over and over again when I was younger. You'd like Viking lore where Odin comes down as a goat avatar just to coax a female into fucking him. <laughs> no, some of, some religions do have a really interesting uh, lore or whatever. But, um, for me... Like, I just like the whole, like, realistic side. Like, what is, like, realistically provable outside of just stories, you know? So, like, that Roman, the Roman guy saying Jesus really did come in and do some weird shit. It was just interesting, you know what I mean? Like, what did, what was Jesus doing, bro? Like, <laughs> um, how, how fast do you think Goku is? I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see. What about the prison? Yeah, uh, Escape from Guantanamo Bay. That was funny. There's, like, this weird scene in that movie where it's just, like, one of them fucking coming at the beginning all over himself because he doesn't have a girlfriend. I was like, what the fuck is this scene? Like, why is he just coming on himself in this movie? Like, it was the weirdest opening scene ever. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, dramatic religion. I I've never seen dramatic religions, I don't think. Oh my god. Yeah, Jesus was double jointed. <laughs> the Roman guy was like, I don't know what powers he got in Egypt, bro, but that shit was unholy. And it's just Jesus with a double jointed thumb or something, like doing a thumb trick. <laughs> um You know, you know what I thought was really interesting was like there was this uh I think there's this book called the Book of Enoch. Um which is considered, like, not good for other... Like, people debate about if it's, like, a inspired scripture. But in that book, you have the Archangel Michael, like, face down against, like, Satan. And Satan turns into a dragon and then does this bijou tail whip and whips, like, four angels out of heaven. And then Archangel Michael has to, like, fight him. And then God grants him, like, this holy flaming sword that holds all of God's power. And then he slays Lucifer out of, he like, out of heaven. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, what is this weird-ass power-up? This shonen fucking, the shonen anime sword? <laughs> this weird shit. Yeah, some Black Clover power-up. <laughs> yeah, non-filler chapter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, even religion got that plot armor, dude. It was just some flaming sword of God. I forgot where what the exact thing was. It was weird. Some weird heaven battle. 